now we are in the entrance hall in Panorama Museum. And the sculptural portrait that you can see, this is the artist who painted our panorama, Defense of Sevastopol, the date back to Crimean War period. Three years he spent to finish the canvas, and he painted everything in Germany. And then by special train, the big canvas was delivered to Sevastopol. And in 1905, the museum was opened for the very first time. And Franz Rubor, the name, this is the name of the artist, he liked to repeat that Sevastopol panorama was one of his favorite pictures. And during the Second World War, I have to say, the building of panorama was almost completely destroyed. It was rebuilt only after the war, and in 1954, the museum was opened for the second time, and it means that today, when we are on the viewpoint, a little bit upstairs, we will see the second Sevastopol panorama that was painted by Soviet artists by 1954. Okay, let's go. And now we are on the viewpoint in Panorama Museum. At last, here we are. I have to say that the word panorama is of Greek origin, and in translation from Greek language it means I can see everything around me. That's why we are in a round building, and we can see completely round canvas around us. The canvas is 115 meters long, and it is 14 meters high. And what is really interesting and very peculiar in our Sevastopol panorama that here one can find not only the painting itself, not only the canvas, but also what we call object plan. These are real things. We can see a lot of cannons, cannonballs, baskets filled with the stones and ground, sandbags, different uh, wooden and metal details, but there are no places here where this object plan is connected with the canvas. Everywhere there is a distance between them. And what we see is not the fantasy of the artist. No, one real day is depicted here, the day when, for the very first time, French troops decided to try to occupy Sevastopol during the assault or attack. And that day that was chosen by Frenchmen as the day of the attack, Russians succeeded, and they managed to repulse French attack not only from this bastion where now we are, by the way, we, are all, we have to imagine that we are on the top of Malachov Hill bastion, but also French attack was repulsed from all other Russian bastions in Sevastopol. And as that day was a small victory, I mean Russian victory, that's why it was decided to depict that very day in this painting. But the result of the Crimean War was that Russia lost it. But we will talk about that a little bit later. <laughs>